Today, I thought we'd take a look at the Hot Toys version of Superman from the 1978 movie, Superman. Now, before we start talking about the actual figure and the um, very nice Fortress of Solitude set piece that came with it, I can't not talk about the box that came with it also. I think it's possibly the nicest box I've ever got with any of my collectibles. And it's a box that you most definitely have to keep. I wish I had enough room to display it, but as you can see, it's absolutely massive. It's humongous. Now, you wouldn't believe the trouble I've just had trying to get this beast into shot. It really is a really big box. It is really, really beautiful to look at. I wish I could display it, but it is just far too big for my room. So I kind of put it back into its original cardboard box and store it away. As you can see, it's got this really nice banner here saying Superman the movie, Superman 1-6 scale collectible figure. It's got the Hot Toys logo here in the corner and it really is nice. I'm going to show you what it's like inside the box now and show you the little accessories that I got with the figure that I don't tend to use on my display. I just tend to keep them packages away safe. Okay, so after going through quite a few layers uh, to get inside it, here we have what is left of the accessories that came with this. I do believe there was a different version of this figure which came with the kryptonite necklace that they put around his neck at the end of the movie. Um, I didn't get that in this one. It didn't really bother me that much. I didn't really want to display him with kryptonite. But that is another version of this figurine that you can get. Um, they've also got some different hand sculpts here. Let's see if I can get them out and show you. We've got the hand sculpts that you can clip onto him when he's in his flying pose. We might put them on a little bit later when we do some close-ups of the figure. And then we've got these hand sculpts as well. We've also got this stand here so you could have Superman in just a standing pose. I tend to like to have him flying because he's Superman. Um, but if you wanted to, you could stand him up as well by just clipping that in there. And I believe... There we go. I believe you put this on his crotch and it stands him up. I tend to prefer the flight stand myself, but this is another option you can have and it is quite a nice little stand, it says Superman on the front though. Now if you ask anyone in my age range who is their favourite Superman, I'm betting they will all say Christopher Reeve because he was just perfect in the role. Whenever I think of Superman, I automatically think of him. I really do like Henry Cavill, I think he's brilliant in the role, but for me, this guy will always be Superman. There is no question about it. So let's take a look at the actual figure. Like I said before, it comes with this very nice Fortress of Solitude diorama, which really does make the figure pop when you've got it on display. You've probably seen it in my past videos standing right here behind me, and I'm sure you'll agree it is really eye-catching. It comes with this really nice transparent tube, so you can have Superman in this kind of flying pose, and it's not that noticeable. And you can also display Superman stood up on the diorama as well. I tend to have him flying most of the time in this kind of static pose. The main reason for that is because I'm scared of lifting the arms up or bending the legs too much because this suit does feel very, very fragile. I know that some other people have had issues with this suit actually ripping in certain parts of the body. So I don't want to risk that. I just kind of have him, like I said, in this static pose and that's more or less how he stays. I do tend to change him up now and again, but when I do, I make sure I am very careful not to stretch the suit. Now, for the longest time, I always wanted a Hot Toys in my collection, and I got this one at a really good price. I think it was around £220 a couple of years ago, which is a steal, if you ask me. And I always said to myself, if I was going to get any Hot Toys figure, it would either be the Christopher Reeve Superman or the Michael Keaton Batman. I am still on the lookout for a Michael Keaton Batman to add to this. I think they would really look nice next to each other. So what we'll do now, we'll bring that camera closer and we'll get some nice close-up shots of the Superman figure. So here we have a closer shot of the figure. As you can see, it is absolutely fantastic. The likeness to Christopher Reeve is absolutely amazing. The actual scale of the body, the size of the legs, the chest, the arms, I think all look perfect. It looks like you have actually just pulled him out 
of the movie and placing right here on front of you in my desk in the 1-6 scale form. It's a piece I really do take pride in owning. There are a few issues with it, like the suit riding up the sleeves now and again when you pose it, and you've got to kind of try and pull the sleeves down so you can get that better display. But I don't really think it's that big of a deal. As you can see, this suit is very tightly fitted to the body, so there, were, there are going to be issues like that when you move it around. The suit is going to ride up the arms, but it's not an issue. You can always just pull them back down and rearrange it and get it looking nice again. As you can see, the lighting on the figure really does look nice. I wish I could say I've done that on purpose, but I've just put the figure here and it just so happens that the light is hitting the right spots on the face to make it really look that much more attractive. What I'm going to do now is just turn the figure around very slowly and let you see every single angle of this face with the uh, really nice lighting effect we've got going on here. And you'll notice as I turn it around, you don't really lose any of his realistic features. He looks like Christopher Reeve from every angle. And I know with some figures that I've got, when you turn them on certain angles, you kind of lose that realism. You kind of lose the actual actor's face and it just looks like a generic Superman figure. But with this one, from every angle, it just looks like Christopher Reeve. The Superman S feels like a really good quality transfer. Then you've got the uh, plastic belt. As we spin the figure around, you will see that there's also a Superman S transfer on the back of the cape, which looks very nice. The cape has a wire running all around the edges, which really does help get it in some really nice poses when you've got him in a flying pose. So without further ado, let's take some shots of him in action.